Well, well, Aquarius. So I make one little slip up and call you Libra and you toss me to the wolves. I see how it is. I'm just messing with you all. I do apologize for it. So I'm going to do a bonus reading for you all. We'll see what messages come through. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. I'm going to leave the other reading up as well, but this will be a bonus for you guys. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Aquarius? Let's make that, sh let's get this straight. Aquarius, what messages do you have for a sign of Aquarius? Okay. Aquarius, we have the Ace of Cups. So someone wants to open up their heart to you. Someone is wanting to express the way they feel about you, but you're guarded. That's the issue. You're guarded. I do see you testing this situation out with this person, and I do see you being like really happy with the way things turn out between you and them. Your advice is to allow this blessing, to open yourself up to this blessing with the will of fortune here. Overall energy is three of cups. You could quite possibly meet someone at like some sort of event, some sort of gathering here with friends celebrating. It could be over the holidays as well. But with the Knight of Pentacles, this has been a long time coming. But whoever is coming towards you, this is someone who's going to pace themselves. They're not going to rush this relationship. And this is someone who's looking for a long-term relationship. So if you're not wanting to be in the long, and that's why they're going to pace themselves because they're trying to see if you're as serious about love as they are. Someone definitely wants to open their heart up to you. You're just needing to open yourself up to this love that's coming towards you. Oh, I got this upside down. Balance spirituality and practicality, Pisces, and we have be bold and make the first move. Okay. I'm really getting you guys just the into balance things. And also, some of you guys may need to learn how to pace yourself when it comes to a relationship. So you could get like really caught up in your head. But they're they're guiding you to be mindful of that. And they're guiding you to just like really pace yourself when it comes to relationships. Whoever is coming towards you, this person will make the first move. They may be a cardinal sign. We have Aries, Libra, Cancer. Um, that's I said Aries. Aries, Libra, Cancer. Who else is it? Capricorn. I don't know why I just slipped up on Capricorn like that. God forbid they see this. But definitely whoever's coming towards you, this person will approach you. They will be the one to come after you, make the first move. Um, but just pace yourself. Keep that in mind. Don't get caught up in your head regarding this situation. Just be present and enjoy the moment with this person, getting to know this person. Okay, messages for Aquarius who are in a relationship. Messages for Aquarius who are in a relationship. Some of y'all may have a Libra that is strongly attached to you. Someone that could, it, it could be a Libra that cross watches for you because I keep, I still have Libra on my mind, like as I'm doing your reading. Either some of y'all strongly have a Libra on your mind or there's a Libra who is, who has you on their mind. But I still, like I, I'm, I hope I haven't said Libra. Unless it, it was me calling out a sign. But messages for Aquarius who are in a relationship. Messages for the uh, Aquarius who are in a relationship. I feel like you're gaining some sort of revelation when it comes to this connection. That it's not the best connection for you to be in. Um, you could have resentment built up towards this person. It's like they continue to do things to trigger you. But I'm getting you ultimately gaining a new perspective when it comes to this relationship and quite possibly walking away from this. I don't see like you ending things like suddenly though. 
I do see like you being with this person at least for another year or a little bit more time before you allow whatever is bother bothering you when it comes to this situation before you allow us to like reach this breaking point. Give me one more. I do get like whenever you kind of push yourself away from this person, they do try to fix this situation with you. They could do things like buy you stuff, give you money, do things to kind of like win you over that way. Like they're good at gifting when they're wanting to mend things. But the issue here is like, the actions, their actions, they can gift all they want, but if they continue to do the same thing that's causing the relationship to fall apart, then what's the point? It's like, okay, you get a couple of presents, but like say if this person is cheating on you and they continue to cheat on you, then what, what's the point? It's like, just to say you got a couple of gifts, it's like, no, you're still not being treated right. And I'm getting, it doesn't mean that this person is cheating on you, but I'm getting that they're doing something and they continue to do it. And they're like, okay, I'll give them this and they'll just shut up. But they continue to do whatever is causing harm to this relationship. I'm getting you finally reach your breaking point where you say it's it's not you can't just buy me things to shut me up to make me pretend like everything is okay. At a certain point, you're going to get fed up with it and it's not going to be enough for this person to just buy you gifts. <clears throat> Okay, messages for Aquarius who are in separation from their person. Messages for Aquarius who are in separation from their person. Please and thank you. Messages for Aquarius in separation. Too much. Healing heart and blowing kisses. So this person wants to heal this connection with you, Aquarius. And the thing is, it's like the more the two of you are separated, like this person finds themselves falling more and more in love with you. And it's like, the thing is, when they think about you, they think about like the things that when you look at yourself, you may find it unattractive. Uh, like it, it's something about you where it's like, you don't care. You're not like the typical person that they have dated where they're uptight and they're so wary about impressing um this person you it's, it's it's like you just don't care you're just yourself you're like whatever and they actually like that about you because it encourages them to be themselves as well and it makes them feel comfortable and that's what they truly enjoy because it's like okay when they're around other people who have to pretend to be a certain way then they feel the need to be a certain way as well but since you're like, yeah, this is me, this is it. And it encouraged them to do the same. What's the most likely outcome between Aquarius and this person? What's the most likely outcome between Aquarius and this person? Irreplaceable and inseparable. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to come back together. Um... And the thing is, it's like when you come back together this time, like it, you guys will be stronger than ever. Like this time, the two of you come back together because they realize that you're irreplaceable. It's like since you guys have been in separation, they realize how irreplaceable you actually are. So it's going to make this person want to hold on to this relationship even more. Whereas like you guys can get into a fight and they're going to want to fix it immediately because they don't want to go without you anymore. They hate it. They really dread it at this point. Like they dread another day and they can't talk to you. So this person will be making things right. Messages for single Aquarius. Messages for single Aquarius, please and thank you. Messages for single Aquarius, please and thank you. Single Aquarius.
Okay, so you have someone that the way you would perceive this person is that it was a very toxic relationship or there is resentment towards this person. You are upset with this person. This person is watching you. <clears throat> Tell me more about this situation. I'm really, okay. This person wants to have a conversation with you, but I don't, the energy that I'm getting from you is with space popping up here. I need more time to think. You're in this energy of like, you you could care less about seeing this person again. You have really turned your back on this situation. They may cross your mind from time to time, but you definitely don't see yourself being in a relationship with this person. But they're all like, ex the thing is, I'm getting in the past, you were all about this person and they still see you that way. Like they see you in this energy of being all about them. So when they see you again and you're like, uh, what do you want? It's going to take them by surprise because they're so used to you just like being all over them or constantly wanting to be around them, hear from them. But you're not that person anymore. What's the most likely outcome between Aquarius and this person? What's the most likely outcome? So you're going to hear something. Oh, so they could tell someone that you know that like they haven't given up hope on this connection. So that it looks like this person is going to intentionally tell someone you know that they still like they have it's it's almost it's this energy of them having hope for this connection, but like it's it's like they're telling someone, um asking people about you so as you will so that other people will come to you and say yeah such and such such and such has been asking about you but they're intentionally doing something and saying something to people or just around people so that it will get back to you so i do see ultimately you'll hear from this person let me see what what actions will this person take towards aquarius what actions will they take? Oh, so this person, they, they feel like, for one, they feel like they missed an opportunity to be with you. They realize that they could have missed this opportunity. There may be a chance that they will not get back together with you. But they're going to take the chance to seek your forgiveness here to see if you will forgive them. Even though they know that there is a chance that they have missed their opportunity, they're still going to um, try to reach out and see if they can mend things between the two of you. Okay. I started. So if new love doesn't come through for the singles, then I'll do a separate spread for new love. So... New love for Aquarius, please and thank you. New love for Aquarius, please and thank you. I'm going to tell you what. Whoever's coming towards you is completely different than your usual type. And I mean that to the full definition of that. And the reason why I'm saying it is because like you guys no longer tolerate the same behaviors or you no longer put up with the same behaviors that you used to in the past. You have someone coming towards you, but you have stopped the pattern. So some of y'all could still like fear, have a fear of attracting toxic energy. But the thing is, I get this confidence coming towards you like, okay, if they are toxic, oh, well, I'll just cut their ass out like I've done in the past. So your energy has switched up and you just don't tolerate the bullshit anymore. So it's allow you to attract someone amazing towards you. Let me get some more on new love. New love for Aquarius, please. And thank you, new love. The thing is, so I, 
this is what I'm getting you used to attract. You constantly attracted people who messed up relationships with you only to realize that they missed out on an amazing opportunity to be with someone amazing. So then they come back and they try to fix the situation with you. And it looks like it has been repeated. This has been a repeated pattern in your love life. And you're done with it because they're, they're, they're going on with what you're cutting out of your life. And I can clearly see like people messing up connections with you and then regretting, realizing like how, how much of a beautiful person you actually are. And then coming back and trying to demand a connection with you and you're fed up with it. You're like, I want someone who realized what they have while they have me, not when I'm gone. Give me one more for new love. Please and thank you one more for new love. I, you know, I'm really getting like you doing some healing care because it's not... It's not giving me anything about who's coming towards you. It's really giving me this energy of yourself. So right now, I'm not getting new love. It can come through. Or they just want you to understand, like, you're still needing to heal from this. Because it's like you're reflecting back on why you were dissatisfied in your previous connections. And a part of part of the issue was how you felt neglected in previous connections and then what upset you was these people realizing how wonderful you were when you were done with them and then wanting to fix things and it's like has you put all this energy towards this connection when you actually had me this could have been amazing okay we'll see it may come out in the oracles later but Let's go on to finances and career. Finances and career for Aquarius. Please and thank you. Finances and, uh, finances and career for Aquarius. Please and thank you. I'm definitely wearing this deck out. It is one of my favorites. This is like one of my favorites. <laughs> One of my favorite decks. Overall energy is the Empress in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, there could be people intentionally trying to make you feel like you don't belong. There could be a feminine energy in charge and they are just not. It's almost like there's not one ounce of love in this person's heart. But there's someone who people don't feel comfortable coming towards, coming towards for advice or guidance, but yet they're in a position where they're supposed to uh, provide people advice and guidance. Um, one thing they want you to be mindful of is be mindful of your temper. Don't lose control of your emotions. Um, because I see some of y'all, if this is representing a situation that you're in where you don't get along with your boss, and whether they're male or female. But as someone who people just do not feel comfortable around this person, it's almost like they just and they they could look down on people, but they are just not a loving individual at all. But they're in a position where people should feel safe to come towards them for guidance and advice, but people don't feel that way when it comes to this person. 
Now, the thing is, I do see you being presented with a lot of options here. And it's a lot of confusion when it comes to these options. And you're trying to figure out what is the best decision for you to make. And you have this Ace of Pentacles. So some of you guys are really needing to be mindful of the way you handle situations because it could mess up an opportunity that's coming towards you. I'm going to tell you what, because some of y'all could end up getting into an argument with someone at work and ultimately you end up losing your job over it. And it may hurt. It may be difficult for you to go through this, but you will have a lot of options. You will have like a lot of opportunities so much where it's like you're in a state of confusion as to where should you go? I do see like you clearly knowing what to invest your efforts towards and also going somewhere where you're appreciated. Why is the six of uh, swords in reverse? Why is the six of swords in reverse? Yeah. I'm getting that it's hard for some of y'all to trust the people at your job. And it's like things are not getting better and it's affecting uh, your ability to accomplish the things that you need to at your job. I'm definitely getting, so uh, some of you guys definitely have a woman in power or just in a position where they have influence over others, but they're not a good fit for that position at all. I'm going to tell you what, some of y'all are definitely being guided away from this and you're being guided to seek out new uh, employment opportunities here because Wherever this is, it's like wherever this person is, they are causing the downfall of this place because of their attitude towards the people that they work with. So it's like you're being removed before this place just falls apart. And it's like really all just because this person, the energy that they bring into this building is affecting everyone. Some of you guys could be doing something uh, publicly or you do something that's catching like a lot of attention. Your way of expressing yourself or just the way you present yourself is just very poetic. You draw people towards you. Some of you guys are going through a, a body transformation. You've been working out, taking care of your body, your health feeling more happy as well. People are already attracted to you, but they're really about to be all over you. And then here we go. I knew it was coming through because you had destiny, something meant to be. So it's like, while some of y'all are about to be feeling so good, you're not tripping off love at all. And then boom, here it comes. And it's just like kind of mess up your plans to just not necessarily mess up your plans, but you you're gonna fall in love with someone and the funny part is you're gonna see that as a problem like damn why you have to come along now just give me a little bit longer and it's not like you want to date around or play around but it's like you are just really feeling yourself stepping into that energy of like really feeling yourself friendship communication I do see you guys like socializing more. I do see you having more support as well, meeting new friends, but it's some connection coming through for you guys. And it's really because like the energy that you're stepping into, you feel so empowered and you feel so good about yourself and you're just attracting amazing people towards you. And it's this love that's coming towards you, someone that you will have a strong 
spiritual connection with as well. You and this person will be the type of person where you guys are at a party and you guys like stand back from the crowd and you just talk about your entire life and you end up just walking away from the party. People are looking for you, but you two are just really enjoying each other's company and talking to each other. I see this amazing connection coming in for you. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.